to go. You're ready to go. Referee Jill Levesque ready to go. Shane Sabalski, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Capitals take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Taken by Cahoon. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the wall by Orloff. Moves it to Ovechkin. Washington's got the puck against the half wall. And he totally whiffs on it. Can't catch up to the pass. From the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. pulley has got the puck in his own zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Moves it to Ovechkin. Unloads one. Stops him cold. Slides the puck over. Nice pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Right up front, and they can't convert to the play. The Oilers have it against the wow. wall. Scores! The Oilers light the lamp! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Edmonton's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1 0 lead. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. He scores! They tie it up. They stay with it the entire time, Ray. I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process. But the process is you don't get frustrated, you keep chipping away and you hope to get to this point. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Backstrom's won the draw. By seven Schultz three. takes it across the line. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Washington's got a hold of the puck off the draw. From the right side, they gain the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Backstrom. Point shot. Too much traffic in the lane. What a steal in his own end. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Tripping the call here. Always makes me crack up since I've retired and how guys argue about penalties that are so obvious. Two minutes is two minutes and off to the box he goes to think about it. Edmonton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Hasn't been much to choose in this tied game tonight. But this is the first opportunity for the top-ranked power play to get to work. Washington's looking to break out. Keeps hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Hagelin. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot, and that one's blocked! The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Tries to get the puck over to McLeod. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ennis. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Grabbed along the board by Barry. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Puck picked up by Ennis. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Hagelin. The Capitals have it behind the cage. Pokes it away in his own end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And sends it just out of reach. Washington's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't complete the play. Puck grabbed by Jensen. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Centered out in front. Whoa. Scores! And he puts his team in front. James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. 
I like the skill here, James, to make the pass and then to receive and shoot it all in one motion. The Oilers have been the busier offensive club tonight, and it shows on the scoreboard now. Their work rate has been way better than the other guys, and they'd like to extend this lead if they can. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. Washington's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers get a hold of it. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. And that's blocked. Quick pass to Dillon. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. On the attack along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Takes the feed at the point. Makes the save. Smith's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. In the final moments of this period, Edmonton's got a one-goal lead. The Oilers will play the puck from behind their own net. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Sends it over to Hathaway. There's the whistle. Well, it didn't like that after that shot after the whistle. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Washington's won the draw in the neutral zone. Hathaway's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's get the official decision. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. Down by one, now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Backstrom. Sends a pass over. He was locked in there. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Oh, they forced the turnover. The Capitals have played extremely well positionally. They don't have the puck. They've gotten it back more often than not. Moves it to Kuznetsov. Tremendous stop by Smith. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Here's a short pass to Archibald. And now he moves it quickly to Kulikov. Sends it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. The Capitals fail to capitalize on the power play. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Roffel. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Carlson. And that's just out of reach. And we'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of play as the horn sounds. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? Then grab our season tickets. Guarantee your seat for the upcoming playoffs. Call the box office for more information or check out our website. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Capitals probably a little bit unlucky in that initial frame. They controlled most of the possession, but they trail by a goal. 
I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Edmonton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Puck scooped up by Orlov. Moves it quickly over to Oshie. Hammers one. Oh, what a stop by Smith. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. The corner is a pretty safe place. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Centering pass! Can't connect! Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Sends it over to McDavid. Passes right to the front, and they can't connect! Taken by McDavid. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Orlov's going off to the box for two minutes. Fishing around for the puck, and he gets his stick into the player's feet. When he goes down, it's an obvious call. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. They're leaving one of their main weapons in the toolbox so far on the power play. Get it back to the point. Let them shoot it. And now it's over to Eller. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Big time stop there. Goalie plays it up. Quick pass to Chara. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Barry. Slides the puck to Dreisaitl. Gets it back. Puck exits the zone. Dreisaitl's taking it from his own end. The Oilers are in transition. It's a two-on-one. Sends it over. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because you show them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Right in front of the net! Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Quick feed to Wilson. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to Eller. And now he angles it across to Wilson. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Slides it across, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And that's picked off. Here's a short pass to Ennis. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Passes it over to Neal. Quick pass to Ennis, pokes the puck away. The Oilers will play it against the wall. Denied by the goaltender. Denies him again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. The Capitals are on the attack. To his teammate. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Neal's going to play it against the half wall. Big save. Angles it over to Raffle. Handles the puck. Driving right to the front, and they can't convert to the play. Puck picked up by Dylan. They put it in the back of the net and we're tied. They've worked hard for this goal to get the chance. They finally put it away, and now everything, as you mentioned, is all level. A sweet feed there. The butterfly pass goes across, and the shooter doesn't miss. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Kuznetsov's won it. Puck grabbed by Dylan. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Right up front. It's in. He scores. That's surprising so quickly they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. Conversely.
seriously deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Washington's got the lead here late in the second. Give me the strategy here now, coach. It's not to sit back on your heels. It's to get up and attack. Try and stretch this lead out while you have your opponent reeling. Jabs the puck away. Stays with it. Washington's got the puck along the boards. Makes the save on the slapper. Ovechkin's got it in the defensive end. There's the whistle icing the call. Here in the late going of the frame, Washington's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. And now it's grabbed by Larson, and that's blocked away. Gains the zone on the left wing. Passes right to the front, and that's broken up. Jones works the puck in his own zone. Strong defensive effort, maintains possession. Feeds it down low, nothing doing on that. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck hits out of play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Capitals take possession off the face-off. Plays the puck up ahead. And now he moves it to Backstrom. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Centering pass in front. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. Here he is, wrestling on net. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. have been a turnover machine tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck, they're losing the game. Musa quickly over to Pugliarvi. Drives it to the crease! Can't connect! Receives the pass. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Pugliarvi. Pulls the puck at the line. Make a change, make a change. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. The Capitals looking against the half wall. Quick feed to Shiri. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Washington's got possession here in the offensive zone. Moves it on over to Nugent Hopkins. Pass right on the doorstep. Comes up with the stop. Nugent Hopkins in the corner now. And he totally whiffs on that one. And they can't connect. Stopped by the goaltender. Samsonov's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Capitals have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Shiri. That pass doesn't go. Puck scooped up by Yamamoto. And there's the save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Moves it to Dreisaitl. 
And that one's blocked! The Oilers have it in the offensive end. The Capitals gain possession along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Picked up along the boards by Dillon. Dishes it to Backstrom. The Capitals have it now. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Sheary. They go on the attack from the left side. Goes full circle with the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Washington's gained possession along the boards. Denies him with the save. More than half the period has expired. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Now a quick pass to Archibald. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Icing his call, stopping the play dead. The Oilers still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Washington's won the draw. You know the other club is a little tired after the icing. That's an important offensive zone win. Jones carries the puck in his own zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Centered out in front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Scores! Really good effort here to continue to push along. Try and find a way to crack the defense. They've done it. And this game is tied. Absolutely clutch! You make so many decisions that happen so quickly. Every once in a while, you get one wrong. That's an example of a bad decision. Edmonton's goal has set up a thrilling finish here in this third period. Really good work to get the game back to level. Now they have to continue to push. Find the winner. Quick pass to Chara. Taken by Down. 13 minutes. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. A critical draw here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. His reflexes on display tonight. Takes the pass. Slides the puck down low. Moved out in front, and they can't convert to the play. The Oilers have it against the wall. Not able to connect. Moves it quickly over to Hathaway. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Centered out in front. Great stop by Smith. Picked up along the wall by Kulikov. McDavid's got it along the boards. Here's the pass. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've been skunked on the power play so far tonight. So you have a little chat on the bench. Guys notice some things that the penalty killers do, and you try to adjust one step ahead of them. And now it's to Eller. Look out, a two-on-one. Sends it across, and that's blocked. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Sends it ahead to Ennis. On the doorstep, can't connect, can't connect. Poked away. Gets the puck over to Dillon. The Capitals carry it along the wall. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Oilers work it through center. Approaching the final 60 seconds of this one. Big play inside the defensive zone. Carlson's moving it ahead. Quick feed to Wilson. Puts it on net, gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Kuznetsov's won the draw. Moves it to Ovechkin. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Pugliarvi's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Passes on over to Cahoon. Moves the puck. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Here comes the official's call. Jensen's been nabbed for tripping. 
His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. McDavid's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. Samsonov's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Getting into the later stages of this period. It's all tied up. Orlov stick handling in his own zone. Dished on over to Chara. Picks off the pass. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The setters will glide into the dot. Dowd's won the draw here in the open ice. Moves it over to Wilson. Washington's got him along the wall. In close! And that carries off a stick. McLeod's got it behind his own net. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And it's a quick pass to Neal. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Washington's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Still nothing solved as the third period comes to an end. We've got overtime looming. We'll take a quick break. OT next. Each fan receives a limited edition player's t shirt. Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We've got our overtime picks in. Have you got yours? Because they're ready to drop the puck. The Oilers win the draw as this period is underway and their power play goes back to work. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's playing it from the side. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. That goes wide. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. And a huge opportunity here for the win! There it was! He misses the net! This shift continues as they... A chance to win it! And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime! The centermen glide into position. Washington's won the face-off deep in their own end. And now it's over to Ovechkin. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. The Capitals move it ahead. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. Dreisaitl's been nabbed for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck, and then when you try... the guy it trips up they tell you get your stick out of there You're kind of stuck Edmonton's won the draw 29 Leon cycle two minutes for tripping and now he tries to get it across to Haas the Oilers will play it from the defensive zone and now he angles it across to Kulikov. 
Sends the pass over. The Oilers slide it through center. Looks to make a play over to Kulikov. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a chance out front. Stopped by the goaltender. Washington's got the puck along the wall. The Capitals will play it in their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. And they can't connect. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Under a minute left in overtime. Here's a shot. Oh, what a big time stop by Smith. Takes the feed. Sends it over. And that's picked off in front. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Game on a stick. And he comes up with a huge save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Washington's won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. Tees him up. Tremendous stop by Smith. Makes a move in front. Chance to win it. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. 20 seconds to go. Here's a chance on the doorstep. But goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Well, the deadlock stays, James. That shot hits the goalpost and bounces away. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Here's a chance. Knocked away. There's the horn, and we are off to a shootout. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments. The coaches are getting their lists ready. We have a quick moment to breathe, and the shootout is up next. Ovechkin's up first for this shootout. Number eight, Alexander Ovechkin. No goal. Didn't have much in the way of creativity there as he gets shut down. McDavid's ready to go here in this shootout. Connor McDavid. executed this geek. He throws the goalie and takes it around him to score. A little more pressure on the shooter now as they are trailing by one. Scores! Oh, what a snipe! Didn't have much room. It looked like the goalie was in pretty good shape. But this one's in the back of the net. Number 56, Yamamoto. And it scores! Great hands here. He fakes the goaltender, holds it with patience, and then finishes it off. Really difficult for the goalie to get a handle where that puck goes off the backhand shot. If he can finish it. And he makes it look easy on the play. Just like they do in practice. Stop just what the shooter has to offer. Oh, she's the first skater up as we play a little bonus round here. Can't get it to go. And that could have been a huge opportunity there. 
really could have spread the shootout out a little bit if he's able to score. He doesn't get it done. Pugliarvi's ready to go. And he can win it if he can snipe it right now. He's dialed in on that one. So quick across the net. Doesn't matter if you deke or shoot on him. He's really good at this. Mantha's got a pretty good reputation in shootouts. He finally gets his number called. Let's see if he can convert. Doesn't go. Really had a chance to turn up the temperature there. Yeah, it's going to keep this interesting as the shootout does not spread out. Well, they're already up here, and they could win it with a goal right now. Gives them absolutely nothing on that. It's amazing how many points are alive in a season. The goalie has to be good if you're going to collect some of them. This game is still wide open as we head on to the next round. Carlson. And he buries it for the goal. I really like how he made this look like he was going to deep, but he doesn't. He stays with the shot, and he capitalizes. Barry's got to come up with a goal here or it's all over. Tyson Barry. Puts it in and will play on! Oh, full blood is right there. Pressure is on him. He had to score. And the shootout will now continue. Schultz has an excellent opportunity to change the complexion of this shootout if he can snipe one here. Absolutely nothing doing on that. Sometimes you make a move, sometimes you choose to shoot, and there's just nothing there. Cahoon's got the game on his stick. A goal here, and he wins it. And he scores! That's it! What's the old expression? You can take a horse to water. No, no. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, that one too. You spoiled it. Always tough for the goalie to read where the puck's going off the backhand. And there's a salute to the fans after another victory here in the house. Yeah, look at the way the energy percolates through the building. You got the music going, the fans are saluting the players and vice versa. It's a cool vibe. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.